In this video, I'm going to be setting up the Rode NTK2 microphone with the SM6 shock mount from Rode. Hey guys, I'm Dr. McFarland and welcome back to the channel. So I have been playing guitar and recording for many, many years. And it seems like I'll go through this guitar kick where I'll buy a bunch of guitars and pedals and amps. Then I'll switch mindsets and I'll turn over to the recording side. I'm like, hey, I, I should probably get a new microphone or maybe a mic pre or just some kind of recording gear. Because I'm always recording and I'm always looking to grow and upgrade my studio setup. So in this video, I'm going to set up a new tube microphone from Rode, which is the NTK. And I've known about Rode for a very, very long time. Most of my mics I have here in the studio are Rode microphones, like the NT2A right here, or also an NT4, which I use for all my acoustic guitar recordings. But I wanted a different flavor, and a two microphone will definitely get me to the goal of getting a warmer sound, whether it's on vocals, guitar amps, drums, or just whatever I put in front of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at what's in the case. And that's attach it to this ultimate series mic stand. All right, so this mic clip is going to hold pretty much any Rode microphone out there. What we're looking to have is a nice sturdy shock mount with a pop filter built in. So that way I don't have to attach a separate pop filter and move it around and all that stuff. So this would be a good addition, especially for people that are doing vocals. So let's open up the box here and see what we got. And here is the shock mount already assembled. So that's great. I was worried I was gonna have to put this thing together myself. All right guys, so there it is. There is the shock mount. You can see there's two different kind of swivel things going on here. We can tighten it right here. We can also tighten it right here. So this is a regular cloth style pop filter. And we're gonna do some testing on a vocalist here soon to see how this works compared to something maybe like this, which is more of like a mesh style. Um, we'll definitely test that out and figure out what the results of that are. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and attach this to our Ultimate Series mic stand and then put the microphone on. So as you can see, the case is pretty big because there's a lot of stuff in there. So as we open it up, you'll see that we have the microphone and I've already taken the plastic off of it earlier because I just couldn't, I couldn't wait, I had to check it out. So yeah, there it is. There is a nice tube microphone. And it comes with its own cable. Yes, this, this is a seven pin cable. That's pretty special. And it does come with its own little mic clip here that's similar to the NTK that I'm currently using. But I wanted a good shock mount so that way I'm not getting any extra low end rumble out of the mic. Now this is going to be a cardioid microphone, which means it's only gonna pick up signal from the front, which is fine, because I'm mainly just gonna use it for vocals and probably not for a lot of other type of things. And this is the power supply that you have to have with the two microphone. You got the ins and outs on the back and you have your power supply and you have your IEC jack and you also have a ground lift and a lot of other stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and put the mic clip onto the mic stand and then attach the microphone. Let's go ahead and tighten this piece down so it doesn't move on us. And you can see in there that we have two different thread options. We have a larger thread on the outside than a smaller thread on the inside right there. Okay. So I'm going to hold this just like that and then turn this part, which just makes it so much easier. I won't have to like try and spin the mic clip around. There's that part. All right, great. Go ahead and move this up so it doesn't get in our way. All right, so for the microphone, we're going to take this part off, spin that off, and then we'll just keep that in the case for when we need it. All right, so now we're gonna hold the mic from the bottom. And now we're just gonna turn the black thread up here.
All right, and it's going to be nice and tight. All right, so you can see how that works. I was just holding the mic, and then I was actually turning the black part up top. You just want to make sure the mic is nice and protected. So always hold the mic or the mic clip and turn the thing that you're actually want to go into it. That's going to be a lot safer. And then let's just bring this down like so. And now we have the pop filter in the front of the mic. So we can actually move this pop filter up or down like that, depending on how we want to position it. So now I don't have to worry about attaching a separate pop filter like this one to the actual arm and then have it positioned like that, which is fine, but this is an all-in-one solution that works really, really well. So like I said, in a separate video, we will shoot out the mesh versus the pantyhose style fabric. <laughs> I call it pantyhose. You can get away with making your own custom pop filter by using a clothes hanger and pantyhose. So go ahead and try that out and let me know down in the comments what you think about that idea. But these type of microphones are a little bit heavier. That's why I ended up getting the ultimate support microphone stand. So I, that way I have plenty of beef to carry this thing. And we can tighten that down and it looks great. All right, so that works really good for me. If you have any questions for me, leave a comment down below. And also, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to the channel for a lot more recording videos just like this one. And make sure to click the bell icon as well. So that way you get a little notification every time I release a new video. So there's a lot of links down in the description. Go ahead and check those out. If you buy something through those links from Amazon, I get a little bit of a kickback from that. And if you want to be a more confident musician, definitely consider being a member of the Confident Musician community where we learn about music theory, gear, and recording. So thanks guys for watching. I am Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking. Oh yeah.